Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. It's the one and only time that the 2nd Brigade Combat Team, 10th Mountain Division, could re-enlist soldiers on a day with so much numerical significance for the brigade, 2-10-2010. On February 2nd, 210 soldiers from the 2nd Brigade Combat Team re-enlisted while deployed to Iraq. 2nd Brigade Commander Colonel David Miller and 2nd Brigade Command Sergeant Major Joe Montour traveled to five different locations within 2nd Brigade's operational environment to administer the oath of enlistment and to remind soldiers of how important their re-enlistment is to 2nd Brigade and to the U.S. Army as a whole. Your individual effort to re-enlist directly affects the mission and the success of the 2nd Brigade Combat Team. But you guys need to know that today, you 39 great Americans and your families are part of 210 commandos re-enlisted for yourselves, for your partners on your left and right, for your unit, and for this great army. It shows camaraderie. It really does. It brings us together as a unit, I think. And Honestly, it's one team, one fight. So when we re-enlist together, it shows the team. Soldiers re-enlist for a variety of reasons related to personal goals, values, and how much they feel they contribute to their unit. For 2nd Battalion, 14th Infantry Regiment, Operations Office, non-commissioned officer in charge, Staff Sergeant Harlan Terry, it was loyalty to his battalion. I re-enlisted today because, for one, I've been with the battalion for going on 12 years now. So it's kind of a pride thing. Um, it's been a long and wonderful 12 years, so I figured it's about the best I can do for myself and, uh, and the battalion to, to go ahead and re-enlist. Over 325 2nd Brigade soldiers have re-enlisted since the brigade deployed in October 2009. For the 2nd Brigade Combat Team, I'm Specialist Rebecca Schwab.